Hello, this video is an update for fall 2020 CSCE 611 students on this semester's course format and what you can expect for this semester. Uh, this semester we're teaching 611 as an online course. For this we're planning to use the following strategy. We're planning to present all course material using pre-recorded online videos posted to YouTube. And, uh, but instead of recording a whole 75 minute lecture uh, for each video, as we did in the past, we'll record shorter, more focused lectures, each covering uh, a single topic. This way, you can find, watch, and rewatch specific videos according to how comfortable you are with the topic. However, the lecture videos from fall 2019 and fall 2018 are still online in case you'd like to get a sneak peek of what's coming up in the course. We'll use the departmental's Moodle site at dropbox.csc.sc.edu to administer our quizzes and exams this semester uh, and also to post assignment descriptions, post grades, uh, provide supplementary material that, that you can download and host online discussions and question and answers. You will also use your, compu your personal computer to work on the assignments this semester and will use Blackboard Collaborate to host online uh, synchronous question and answer sessions over, you know, video conference. We also have a standing reservation in the uh, computer lab in Swear Engine 3D22 for three of the four sections. We have a, uh, a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday reservation. But we're only planning to use the lab to provide individual help to students by appointment only. Uh, so you know, if you'd rather meet in person than meet over Blackboard Collaborate, then we can schedule a time to meet with you in the lab. The textbook for the course is Digital Design and Computer Architecture by Harris and Harris, same one we've used in the past. It is uh, technically a required textbook, but um, if you don't have it, uh, you, you won't be crippled in the course. Uh, but we will follow it fairly closely, or at least parts of it, and it serves as a, as a useful reference for the language that you're expected to learn in this course, System Verilog. So, you know, if you have a question about System Verilog, you can, you can look it up uh, in, that, in that book. There's also um, example uh, problems in there as well that, that you can work on to practice. We have two full-time graduate teaching assistants who will be grading assignments and also developing the software tools we'll use for the projects in the class and, and also answering questions both online and um, in, in written form on, on, on uh, Moodle as well as in teleconference form on Blackboard Collaborate and possibly also face-to-face -face in the lab. The TAs are Charles Daniels and Philip Conrad. Charles served as TA for this course in fall 2019, 2018, and I believe 2017. And he's the main author of the software framework that we're using um, to serve as a, uh, a virtual FPGA board. And, and I'll talk more about that a little later. Uh, for Philip, this is the first time he's TA'd this class, but he previously served as TA for CSE 317 last spring which is another one of my courses, um, and its conversion to virtual format served essentially as a template for this course. Uh, so Philip has experience, very relevant experience there. Also, Philip's main research area is closely related to the material that we're teaching in 611. So he's, he's uh, very comfortable with it. Uh, we encourage you to use the online forum for um, f that, that, that matches up, that will be created for each lecture and each assignment uh, on Moodle to ask questions about uh, the course material, since this way other students can, can benefit from, from the answers that we post. And you can still email questions to us, but we may post your question uh, along with our answer 
on the form unless it's you know grade related or, or personal question. Uh, with regard to, to grading, we expect to assign three projects this semester, which together will in, involve the incremental design of a CPU, RISC-V CPU. In previous semesters, we, we designed a MIPS CPU, so uh, we're changing that. And also, we, we, in, in the past, we had more projects because they are group-based, but these projects will be individually uh, uh, designed, so we'll, we've cut it down to only three projects. The project uh, grades will comprise 40% of the course grade for students taking the course for undergraduate credit and 25% of the grade for students who are taking the course for graduate credit. Students taking the course for graduate credit are required to complete a fourth project that comprises 15% of the grade. The projects build on each other and so they must be completed in order. And as a result of this, the late penalty is only 7.5% per school day, and there's a maximum penalty of 30%, although there's a cutoff date of December 4th, meaning that you can't submit past December 4th. One important rule is that your project must compile to receive any credit, so be sure to check for compilation errors before you submit your grade. In other words, we can't really assign any partial credit for assignments that that don't even compile. It, it's you know it's it's hard enough to uh, to grade these types of projects against a a rubric, um, but if they don't compile, it's 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 uh, essentially impossible. Uh, we will give uh, biweekly quizzes that together will comprise fifteen percent of the course grade, and uh, also three exams that will that together will comprise fifteen percent of the course grade. Uh, at the end of the semester, we'll drop the final lab or one of the two midterms, whichever improves your score the most. So if you don't have time or if you get behind and you don't finish the final lab, or if you do well on the labs and happen to do well, uh, poorly on one of the exams, uh, one of the two midterm exams, then uh, it's no problem. We'll, we'll drop that. The course syllabus is available on Moodle and contains additional information about the course outcomes, the academic honesty policy, instructions for getting help from uh, for students that, that may have a disability, and an approximate schedule for, for the semester, which also shows the uh, assignment dates for each project. I look forward to working with you uh, to rise to the, the challenge of adapting this course to a virtual format, which is a little more difficult than other courses since it's an applied kind of project-based course, lab-based course. Um, but I expect that the extra attention that we give this class in, in developing this virtual version of it um, will make it a better course and, and it'll make it the best instance of the course that we've had so far. Thank you.